Hi guys, hi guys, I have a reaction video about Cokes, Coca or Coca-Cola for short, for better known, uh, Pepsi aren't really rival. The truth is, Pepsi and Coca-Cola is not really in a rivalry. This yes, is Pepsi's 1905 logo, and this is Coke's from the same time period. No Do you know that the Coca-Cola uh, is introduced in 1886 by a doctor? He, the truth is that Coca-Cola is not really a drink in 1886, but a medicine, a painkiller. Uh, in 1886, Coca-Cola has an ab a cocaine today. Cocaine in 1886, but today there are no cocaine in the Coca-Cola. And Pepsi is founded by 19, in 1965. And let's start now. Watch them evolve, or in the case of Coke, stay the same. This doesn't mean Pepsi is indecisive. And cocaine is illegal now, but in 1886, cocaine is uh, uh, medicine for painkiller, or we call analgesic. Analgesic is to really uh, medicine to relieve pain. Instead, it's a clue that the great soda rivalry is in fact about something other than taste. Oh. Pepsi has a weird metallic aftertaste. I think Pepsi has a sharper taste, and I think that the carbonation affects both of them differently. For years, consumers have obsessed over the smallest differences in taste. The Pepsi Challenge was a marketing campaign started in 1975. It featured a blind tasting of Pepsi and Coke. The results? Pepsi! <laughs> More Americans... So... Pepsi and Coke uh, as a uh, similar color, but it has no similar dates to the taste. Coca-Cola is more uh, sweet than Pepsi. Preferred Pepsi, but throughout their history, Coke has held but, a firm. Uh, but Coca-Cola is more bitter than uh, bitter than uh, Pepsi. Asp on the market. So why both brands are courting entirely different consumers? If we look closer at Pepsi's marketing, it makes the case that this soda brand embraces change, while Coke keeps itself firmly entrenched in the classic past. Friends. This is a leaked marketing document by the Arnell Group. The firm executed the highly the controversial $1 million Pepsi logo redesign in 2008. This document, called Breathtaking, recorded all that went into designing the new Pepsi globe. In it, the company explains its diverse inspiration. The Hindu tradition of numerical harmony as spatial organizer. The Vitruvian Renaissance. The elements. Uh, that is, the true is... Uh, the Indian uh, invented the uh, geometric harmony, or we called uh, uh, mathematical figure, like this in the video. Of energy, Rene Descartes' Le Geometry, and even the Earth's magnetic fields. At first, the media was all over it, but the soda has seen steady sales since. Rebranding is core to Pepsi. Change is part of its DNA, and it's part of what makes the company so successful. It's always 
exciting. It's innovative. Yeah, and innovation is the part true. of its basic brand personality. That is what it's selling. It's selling excitement, warmth, young. And therefore, it needs to change to be authentic to its brand. In the case of Coke, it is wholesomeness, America, joy, very down-to-earth kind of an appeal. This central difference is manifested in the brand's mascots. Coke is Santa Claus and polar bears. Pepsi is Michael Jackson, Britney Spears, and who could forget Kendall Jenner. Pepsi's... Uh... Why Coca-Cola is Santa Claus and uh, Polar Bear? Because Coca-Cola is older than the Pepsi. Pepsi is founded in 1965. So therefore, it is more... Uh, more... Uh, futuristic than the Coca-Cola. But the Coca-Cola is more popular than Pepsi. And essence involves change. Therefore, it must change. And that change, I don't think, is necessarily a negative, since that is very much a part of its persona. Coke tried to change once. Introducing the new taste of Coca-Cola. It doesn't have the zazz that you need when you want a Coke. I'm very disappointed. I think we've lost the American tradition. For Coke loyalists, it was a departure. It signified a violation of what drinkers had come to expect. So... I'm not a Coca-Cola loyalist or a Pepsi loyalist. I do not drink soft drinks or any other soda. I just drink water. Consistency. Coke found it was more important to keep their existing customers happy rather than find new ones. And that's the bigger picture here. Coke isn't after Pepsi's customers and vice versa. And the public may perceive a rivalry between the two brands when in reality, the two seem to coexist quite peacefully. Remember that logo that kept changing? It's part of that very same strategy. Pepsi has set its sights on a particular customer one that embraces change so practically the opposite of coke's so, target so i'm true e, the pepsi is more futuristic than coca-cola i would always go for coke over pepsi because just the classic thing that we always had growing up like if we ordered pizza you had coke with it it's classic Despite any notion that Coke and Pepsi are one and the same, they're courting a totally different soda drinker. A 2016 study by two Emory professors, Jagdish Chef and Anthony Koshman, showed that each brand has an insanely loyal base. Coke retained 94.4% of its loyal households from one quarter to the next. Pepsi kept 91%. Oh, I feel like a traitor. I feel like I've let down generations of my ancestors by switching on a whip. And now I feel silly for having this undying loyalty to Coke, almost, now that I taste Pepsi, but Coke is just where my brain goes when I'm like, okay, it's time for a fizzy, fizzy bev. Today... That is true. Coca-Cola is called Coke in popular in all the people on the world. Coca-Cola is popular name uh coke pepsi and coke market to the soda drinker who matches what they stand for in other words so there is this video is made by shedar let's clap your hands with shedar Let, let's clap our hands for shedar Uh, I may end this video now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more reaction video like this one, the amazing Coca-Cola and the Pepsi. Goodbye.